How to divide polynomials using the box method. My name is Bon Crowder and I'm with math4.com and we're going to divide these two polynomials using the box method. So here I have my boxes laid out and if you'll notice they're color coded because what I'm going to do is this. The 12x cubed goes here and what I'm going to do is have this piece along the side and I'm going to treat this kind of like a regular multiplication table. So here's the answer in a sense, and I need 3x times what gives me 12x cubed? Well, 3x times 4x squared gives me 12x cubed. Then I look at this and I go, well, gee, 4x squared times negative 2 gives me negative 8x squared. But this 23x squared needs to be these two put together. So negative 8x squared plus what gives me negative 23x squared? Negative 15x squared. So then I look and I go, gee, 3x times something gives me 15x squared. 3x times negative 5x gives me 15x squared. And then I look to the next column. Again, it's just like a multiplication chart, down and across. Negative 5x times negative 2 is 10x. But here we go again. We need the 10x to combine with this other blue box to give me 13x. So that's 3x. Then I need to know, well, gee, 3x times what gives me 3x? No, this 3x times what gives me this 3x? They're the same. So I need a 1 there because 1 times 3x is 3x. And then I multiply 1 times negative 2 and I get negative 2. Is that the same there? It sure is. So which means my answer to the whole problem is this piece across the top, 4x squared minus 5x plus 1. And that's my answer. And that's how you divide polynomials using the box method. I'm Bon Crowder with Math4.com. Have fun with it.